Hey everybody, it's Chrome FX Films here, and I am going to start a new series on Unity 3D on the basics of Unity. I'm going to start with the very, very basics, and I'm going to be giving just little tips and things like that on how to use Unity and, and efficient ways to use Unity. So, let's get started. In this video, I'm just going to be going over where um, all the options and where everything is located in the program because uh, once you get used to it it's not it's not that complicated at first you'd be like oh where is everything like I don't know how to do this I don't know how to do this but once you start using it it gets a lot easier so let's get started All right. first thing is this is your scene view this is where you add all your game objects and anything that you will have in your game scene so this is the editor view pretty much so you can edit move rotate resize drag and drop scripts on to anything in this section down here this is the game view this is what it looks like in your rendered full fully rendered version so when you play the game this is what you, uh, a player would play so this is where you test your game and over here the uh, hierarchy this is where you have a list of all your objects in the scene so once you get a lot of objects in your scene uh, you will you might want to start organizing them so you can actually add an empty game object and rename this to uh, like lights and then you can create another one and say enemies and so on and then you would actually group all the enemies in the scene and make them child objects in those uh, uh, empty game objects. So that's that's how you organize your objects. That would be very helpful when you have like thousands of objects and you have a really big game. Like if you were building an MMORPG or uh, just about any really big game, any any really big scene, you'll need that. All right. Next over here is our pro is the project view. This is where you have all your objects that are in your project, not necessarily in your scene. They're at their pro they're files that can be accessed through any other scene. So, uh, if you had like a prefab, which a prefab is a file that stores models, particle effects. It just it holds um, an object that you can use in any scene in the game at any time, not just this one scene. Moving on, the uh, inspector view. This is actually where all the uh, detailed options show up for your object. So I have uh, in this in the basic scene default they have they set in a main camera object. When you yeah when you click main camera over here in the inspector uh, comes up with a list of options that you can do for that camera. Now I can change the field of view. Now that is actually just making my my view a lot wider. Uh, the uh, clipping planes near which is how close an object can get to the camera until it like starts disappearing which that's actually how close your camera is at the lens like actually start next to the camera so as you can see it's 0.3 and if I make it 0 0.01 it's like 0 and if I make it 1 it goes pretty far out um, default is uh, 0.3 so uh, moving on on the top right of the screen you see it says 2 by 3 this is by default 2 by 3 this is actually the screen layout pretty much so uh, 2 by 3 means it splits the two screens the scene view and the game view that's the two and then three going hierarchy project and inspector as the three so you, they have different options here you can actually save your own layouts so you can move uh, any objects, um, any of these scenes by dra uh, dragging, clicking and dragging the tab and moving it to anywhere else. So I can move the project down here. Alright, so now that's different. And then you can click over here and click save layout and then you can name your layout. So, alright, so I'm just going to show you the uh, different ones. This is four split, so it has the uh, top view, side view, and bottom view. And then this is your 3D view. I'll go back to oh yeah and there's wide and then there's tall which I sometimes use wide so uh, it's whatever works for you all right I'll keep it on two for, two by three for now all right and on the top left you have the this is panning uh, you have the the uh, moving 
selected objects. So when you click it, it go it selects this option, and you can move up, down, left, right, and if you just click the center, it'll drag it um, on the axis on which direction your camera is facing. Which th I do not recommend this unless uh, it doesn't matter at all uh, where it is in your scene because this is very inaccurate and it does not move along the grid at all. So, uh, as you can see what I'm doing right here, I'm rotating around the camera. What you can do is hold Alt on the keyboard and the left mouse button and you will rotate. To focus on an object, like if I'm over here and I'm not really on the object, press F on the keyboard and it'll focus it. So that won't help a lot. Next is the rotation when you click rotate it actually rotates the objects the last one is scaling so you can't really scale a camera but you can scale uh, a cube or any other object so that is the very basics of the scene and screen layout for unity uh, I will make more tutorials on the rest of the functions so uh, tune in next time. Thanks.